I like shooting in laundry mats also. <laughs> uh-huh. I see. I was about to mention that as well. You're, yeah. You're yes. me there. <laughs> so I actually, I got married about a year and a half ago and we moved back into the neighborhood in which I grew up. And it's a cool part of Houston. It's Southwest Houston where you've got, you know, kind of a mixture of middle class folks and people who are trying to make a better life for themselves. There's a huge Chinese and Vietnamese community moving in. There's your Latinos. And I was trying to look for a microcosm where people are trying to, I guess, capture that American dream and make a little bit better life for themselves. And so looking for the setting to tell that story, I stumbled into this laundromat where you have working class people who, you know, are in these apartments, living in these apartments that don't have machines, um, but hopefully with a lot of hard work and nose grease, they'll uh, make a little more next year than they do this year, and they can kind of eventually move up the chain and get their own places. But in the meantime, you know, parents have to bring their kids um, to do laundry, and, you know, these kids are in this adult world and being asked to do things. And, you know, a lot of single moms are there. I grew up in a single parent household too. So I can, I can relate to that story. So yeah, I just, I love, I love the laundromat. I don't know what it's about. (laughs) It's owned by a Vietnamese couple. The majority of their clientele are either African American or Latino. Uh, I've learned by the way, having gone to China and Thailand that in Asian cultures, it's it's they have to say yes to everything and so a guy wow. showing up with the camera like they can't tell him to get out <laughs> oh okay so, hey but they've pr- been a pro bit... tip for street photographers out there <laughs> going to sure. a, a chinese a, a vietnamese owned businesses and you'll be yep. you'll be sure to get some shots well done yeah they'll they'll say yes that's you can tangible say. that's strategic right there for, for sure so but they're amazing and like you know, it's, it's re- they have repeat customers. So I, in having the ability to print my work, I, uh, I print my photos and I know when people are going to be there. Like if they go on Wednesdays or Thursdays and I'll try to bring them prints the next time I'm around. Um, or I will leave prints at the counter. Um, and so the people who own the shop, um, will give the prints to other people. You know, my goal someday is to maybe have an exhibition at the laundromat uh, of the photos that I've made there with the proceeds, you know, going, I don't know, it'll be free, free night at the laundromat. So if it makes 500 bucks, you know, people can come in and yeah. they can do laundry up to 500 bucks and kind of give back to the community. Uh, it would be really fun to do that. You know, so you say exhibition, I'm immediately picturing a bunch of, a bunch of hipster kids and, and lime and boots and, and <laughs> mustaches and the big thick rim glasses, drinking wine and beer. And they're like Hell looking no, at prints on the wall, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> disrupting the piece. I want the people who have no idea what photography is, who were just coming to the laundromat on Wednesday night to do their laundry. That's who I want them to see the pictures. <laughs> in the meantime, they can uh, do their laundry too. You know, that's who I want to to that's come cool. enjoy it. You know, because the photos is about them. It's not about anything else. Yeah. So, well, and well, how how amazing would it be to have like these, the, you know, these nice 10, 15 foot prints <laughs> on the, on the wall. Of, of people yeah. who come in there every day, right? That would be, <laughs> that would mo- be amazing. That would be the most legit laundromat ever. It would be super cool. <laughs> it would be super cool. 